This is her first Comic Con ever. Please welcome to the stage, Miss Carrie Byron! that all you guys have been together as this group uh, at, at a con. Is that not, uh, is that Absolutely. not correct? Absolutely. It's the very first time. It's a historic first. It's a historic first. Uh, now, uh, Adam, you uh, I've, I've been friends with for, for a little while, and, uh, and, and the rest of you I met through Adam, actually Carrie, separately. Uh, and then Jamie, we've never really had a lot of time to spend alone together. I'm kind of hoping we'll get to rectify that at a con this year. Uh, but uh, seven years you guys have been together. Seven years. So how is it? Uh, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to get into the where did Ben Butler come from? Because you guys already know that. You're the fans. But uh, how, what has it been like the last seven years uh, of doing the show day in and day out? Wow. Uh, <laughs> it's not a very glamorous job. <laughs> I mean, we're all having the most fun we possibly can. But on the day-to-day -day level, it's pretty we get we get beat up, we get stitches, we get bruised and dirty. I think um, they call that getting her done. <laughs> that is exactly. Yeah. Uh, and then that's uh, juxtaposed with coming to a place like Comic Con, where all of us have been getting accosted in the best way possible <laughs> by people with big headdresses and boobs and boots, and all sorts of things. It's amazing. This is boobs. <laughs> the, the ones that I saw. <laughs> Carrie, what's it been like for you? I mean, it's Comic Con. I mean, what, what did you imagine before you before you came to a con? Uh, well, this is amazing. I, I had no idea what I was in for. I don't think I've had this many cameras pointed at me in my entire life. <laughs> but I'm loving it. I, I love the costumes. I, I love just everything about this. It's yeah. fun. So are you, you got, you've been, you've been before. You know, it's like we, we were here last year, and it's like you're in the shop, you're like working your butt off, you're sweaty, you're dirty, and you look around and you're like, what are we doing this for? And then you come here and it's like, we get instant feedback. It's like, because of you guys, this is why we do it. And it's so nice to come here and see the fans and see what we're doing is making a difference. It's true. It's true. Jamie, what's, uh, how many times have you been to at this point? I, I think actually Jamie would like to st tell you this answer by singing a song, don't you? <laughs> I, I mean, listen, if it's any consolation, but I would prefer the answer in song if Jamie Heineman had a song. What's more feeling, Jamie? What? <laughs> that was a rap. <laughs> the world's shortest song. I mean, Take it to the bridge. Has anyone come up to you and been like, this guy's got the best Jamie Heineman costume on? <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of hard on this. <laughs> Well, you know, it, it's been great being on Mythbusters. We're, uh, we're, uh, I'm still having a hard time acknowledging the fact that we're on television. I try to ignore it as much as I can. Uh, actually, you do more than that. You refuse to let the cameras film you a good portion of the time. <laughs> but it seems to be working for us. Yeah. I mean, did you, you know, you're starting off with special effects. Did it just ever occur to you, like, ah, I could, there's a possibility I could be a huge TV star someday? <laughs> Well, you know, that's the thing about effects work, is you get to try all sorts of different things, and uh, I thought this was one of the most unlikely things that I would ever get to try, and, you know, as it turned out, it, I was wrong. Um, here we are, and, and we're, uh, it, it's, it's like it just started yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, and thankfully, I, I, I don't see any end in sight. I hope you guys do another 35 seasons of oh, the show. Oh, I mean, actually, uh... Just signed up for uh, at least several more years of the nice. show. Nice. The list. I don't know what he said. The list of stupid shit that people still believe is this long. <laughs> sit at home and like wake up in the middle of the night like we're out of mitts, we're not we can't do my seven more years. Or do you really you guys it's no. not a problem? No. You just surf the internet, it really works. <laughs> the 
this internet thing's gonna catch on, Grant. Yes. Grant, what are you gonna do when uh, Jeff Peterson becomes self-aware and uh, decapitates Craig Ferguson? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. You know, um, robot uprising is, is one of those scenarios. You know, there are all these scenarios of apocalyptic events that you have to be prepared for: zombie apocalypse, right. alien invasion. Robot Uprising is just another one of those scenarios, and I've got a toolkit set up. Do you have, I mean, it, it, it is a, it's a valid question, I mean, like, as a robot specialist, do you have any advice for how to handle the uh, Robot Uprising, um, you know, during an attack? Well, um, you know, the EMP hasn't been perfected quite yet. I will let you know it'll be available online on my website. <laughs> You're going to create the uprising so you can sell the cure. No, you know, the governments are going to make a plan. That's, that's some government tactics right there. I was actually just reading the other day that someone's built a uh, robot that powers itself by eating food and getting energy from a, a rudimentary digestive system. And I was thinking that's perfect for Jeff Peterson. <laughs> that's what you do. Jeff Peterson is going to evolve. He's got to evolve. He will, eventually. <laughs> Someday, legs. Um, I'm going to wheel him off. Um, what? We, we could all. We'll, we'll get to work on that after it's not awkward anymore. Um, uh, this is, it, like, you guys are, you guys are, are, are like royalty at the con. It's insane. And we, we did the Wootstock show together the other night. Like, yeah, I was imagining myself as a nerd turning the corner and looking at the green room of Jamie and you and the MST3K guys and Will Wheaton and Veronica Belmont. And I was just like, bleh, bleh, like I was choking on spit. So, and you guys are, you guys are royalty. And you, you told this insane story about uh, something that someone made you sign. Uh, yeah, no, last year, last year we were at the signing table and uh, we, we got out there and there was this huge roar. Uh, and I think largely it was a roar because Jamie stood up on the table and went like this. And it's just not something you expect to see. And as we were signing, people were bringing up all sorts of things for us to sign, and these people put a baby on the table. <laughs> a human baby. wearing a onesie that said, it still creeps me out, wearing onesies that said, proof that nerds have sex. <laughs> <laughs> and someone was like, yeah, sign the baby. And someone was like, sign the baby. And then the whole crowd was like, sign the baby. <laughs> I was like, okay. Because you don't go against the crowd. So I'm signing the baby. And I hand the baby over to Jamie. And the baby starts crying. <laughs> so I said, stop pressing so hard. <laughs> and when infants are involved, no one thinks those jokes are funny. <laughs> Except for me and Jamie. <laughs> Makes it look like he's pressing really hard. <laughs> is there? Is I mean, do people do people kind of a costume on the streets in the Bay Area, or, or is it? Uh... Well, yeah, they do. Um, but I, I, I don't know. It, I think Adam gets it a little worse than I do. There, I think people are sort of afraid of me for some reason. <laughs> but last year I walked the floor in costume, and I, and I said I had a great time. And Jamie was like, "Yeah, I walked the floor. I walked the floor." <laughs> and I said, "Really?" Just as you, he's like, yeah. Said, Did people come up to you? And he said, I would see them notice me, and I'd go like this. <laughs> That's a superpower. Sis <laughs> man. Jamie has the makings of a perfect supervillain. If there's some sort of a lab accident and he sprouts like ten other arms or something, he's gonna be the perfect supervillain. I've been to, I've actually had the privilege of going to M5 before, uh, and I've not been to M7. What the hell, guys? Uh, hey, like, we'll show you love. He, 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 Come he, on, Chris. Right. Okay. Right, we'll <laughs> but it's exactly, guys, it's exactly what you think it is. It's not a studio. It's, it's really, it's a workshop. And there's not a, it's not a huge crew. It's just a camera guy and a sound guy. And you guys are literally doing everything yourselves. I don't know if people really understand that. It's not... It's not, it's not like Man vs. Wild where there's someone off to the side, like, go over there and pretend you're alone. Like, 